Thank you for logging on with us here at 41NBC.com. I'm Kyle Warnke. After reviewing and updating its emergency response plan, the Bibb County School District is now ready to implement it. The plan includes no longer using security codes during an emergency, installing carbon monoxide detectors, and having the main entrance be the only way to get into schools. Plans should be implemented within the next few weeks. Students at Central High School had a scare Thursday morning. The school went code red at about 7.30 after students and faculty heard what sounded like gunfire. Turns out it was just a firecracker. After an investigation, school returned to normal. Bibb County about to have a new top cop. Sheriff David Davis was sworn in Thursday afternoon. Davis has been the chief deputy of the Bibb County Sheriff's Office for five years. He started working with the department back in 1979. Davis officially takes office the first of the year. And a big thank you to all of you who helped support the Toys for Tots campaign that we hosted here at 41NBC. Those toys now on their way to some lucky kids after being picked up yesterday. All of the toys will stay here in Middle Georgia to help make sure our kids get a bright and happy Christmas morning. Houston County residents got the chance to see a penny tax project that was voted on in 2001 become a reality. The Ball Street extension in Perry is now open. A road project was voted in in an effort to divert heavy traffic like semi-trucks from going through downtown Perry. That's going to help cut back road repair costs drastically. Retired Major General Robert McMahon says he is optimistic about the future of Robbins Air Force Base despite military uncertainties. The Major General says he is already preparing for a base realignment and closure, or BRAC, in either 2015 or 2017. His plan includes raising $1 million annually for the next five years. McMahon says change is coming, but Robbins is resilient. And people across Connecticut will pause and remember the 26 people who died in the Sandy Hook Elementary Massacre exactly one week ago today. Governor Dan Malloy has declared today to be a day of mourning in the state. He asks that all residents statewide participate in a moment of silence at 9.30. The governor is also asking for all houses of worship to ring bells 26 times during the moment of silence in honor of the 20 students and 6 teachers who were killed. The House of Representatives adjourned for Christmas without voting on the Plan B tax bill. Republican leaders said it wasn't brought to the floor because there weren't enough votes to pass the bill. Plan B would have extended the Bush era tax rates for people with incomes of less than a million dollars. Democrats said that even if Plan B were passed, it would have probably been rejected by the Senate. And a major winter storm hammered much of the Midwest Thursday. High winds and blowing snow created whiteout conditions on Kansas highways. Dozens of accidents reported across the state, including this one in Wichita. Many vehicles were stranded or stuck in the snow. And be sure to join us on air for the news tonight at 6 and 11. Enjoy your Friday, everybody.